you paid a high price for your choice, your commitment to peace. You spent nine months in prison, and since that time, you have not only written a very compelling, riveting story about the war, but you've also helped to organize thousands of Americans' sons and daughters coming home from Iraq. Through the Iraq Veterans Against the War, you are creating, helping to create a national movement of soldiers, veterans, peace activists. Talk with us about that. Well, for um, refusing to go back to Iraq and for speaking up publicly against the occupation, I, you know, I was um, court-martialed and I was found guilty of desertion and I was given a um, bad fund of discharge and a year in jail and the motion from staff sergeant to private. And of that year sentence, I, I served about nine months. But, you know, my count of kills in Iraq, innocent civilians, was about 30. We, we killed, my, my unofficial count, because we don't keep an official count, of course. Uh, was 33. Mm -hmm. uh, my unit alone, only three of them were armed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, over five million of them have been displaced, you know. And close to a million have been killed since the invasion started, not to count the wounded, uh, the destruction mm -hmm. of that country. They are paying a high price. Yes, I haven't. Yes, I, I don't. Yes. I don't feel like I have well paid a high, yeah. a high price. Mm -hmm. I think I've, mm -hmm. I've paid a, a very, very, very small price. And I think, um, having seen that destruction and the loss of life, um, that's what keeps me going. You know, uh, precisely the fact that I have not paid a high price. You know, that I think that there's a lot of damage that we that we have a lot of harm that we have done that needs to be undone. And I don't think that, you know, there's enough activism, there's enough organizing that I can do in my lifetime to undo that damage. So that keeps me going. Iraq Veterans Against the War, we have about 1,300 uh, people, um, but the military has about 20,000 people who have decided for one reason or another not to go back to the war. And it's a challenge to get to those people, um, but we are doing that by basically empowering our members and other members of the military to speak out and to share their experiences because we believe that's the most powerful tool we have, uh, which is truth, uh, to bring to the American people so that they take ownership of this war and that, you know, from a very personal and engaged um, attitude and, and position that we create this unstoppable movement to, to end the occupation and hopefully, you know, to bring some sanity into this system so that, you know, we don't make the same mistake in Iran or elsewhere, you know, so it's, it's, it's more than just stopping what's happening in Iraq, it's, it's about bringing sanity um, back into the system. You have worked with UUSC, you have helped to again just educate so many thousands of people who ordinarily would never have met an Iraq veteran or someone who made who has made the conscious choice to peace. Do you think that you would like to return to Iraq one day? I think so. I, I would love to return to Iraq. I think about Iraq a lot and I think it's going to be a part of the healing process, you know, to, to see some of the people who were there. And I think you may have had this experience yourself by going back to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we, have, we are not reinventing the wheel. Yes. We, we have received a lot of help and support and mentorship and love from people from, you know, the movement to end the war in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we are to continue the tradition that you know has led us to where we are, which is a tradition of resistance and dissent. You know, I think that many of us are going to end up going back to Iraq and uh, meeting face to face with our so-called enemy. You know, which the way I view it is, you know, people who are fighting for sovereignty and you know the real enemy here is is war. And it would be really good to share those thoughts and those feelings with with Iraqis. You know, once there is peace there, and we hope that it's not going to take too long for for there to be peace in Iraq.